Gotham, folks, a string of home invasions rippled through the city's already crime-infested East End. Apparently, the bandits are using stolen GCPD battery rams to force their way in, with breaking and entry incidents up 40% over last year. Remember to keep those front doors locked tonight. And we have breaking news tonight. Five criminals are in custody this evening after a break-in at City Hall. But thanks to the efforts of the Batman, the stolen items were returned. Not all of them. Let's see what she was really after. Allegations that Dent may have actually been involved in the break-in. Talk about dirty politics. Does Hill's campaign really think these accusations hold any water with the voters? Or will it be perceived as a desperate attempt from a flailing campaign to take down one of Gotham's most promising young politicians? building for this? Mayor Hill's Gotham Beautiful Act takes effect today, making it possible for landlords to evict tenants immediately and without cause. The new law was to make an average to allow Gotham City's biggest property owners greater ability to modify and improve the city's 80 buildings, some of which have been occupied by families... That's why that was so important. So Wayne Manor has seven bedrooms, two kitchens, a library, a gymnasium, a basketball court, and a movie theater. And yet I always find you here, in a dark, damp cave, in front of a computer. I'm more at home here than the rest of the house, you know that. Then we should build an eighth bedroom down here. Sure, I can see the headlines now. Bruce Wayne, billionaire, entrepreneur, cave dweller. Quite an eclectic resume. Did you find out what that, um, cat woman tried to steal? Well, in the process. What are we looking at? Let me try a different angle. This is a map of the east side shoreline. But it could mean any number of things. Money, weapons, drugs, everything flows through that port. Maybe it's where Mayor Hill picks up his dry cleaning. Hmm. Can't make sense of it yet. There's still plenty of files to decrypt. And in the meantime, I saved you what I could. Thanks, so. Al. Yeah, the same couldn't be said for the bar. I had to literally pry Mrs. Zeller back away. 
But you'll be pleased to hear everyone has left, including Mr. Falcone. I would have been tempted to be far less polite. I'd recommend leaving the fist fights to your alter ego. Bloodstains are much harder to remove from a tuxedo. Yeah, thanks for the interruption. <laughs> and it wasn't for you, Bruce. I was worried I might drink all my good scotch. For the record, your father despised men like Falcone, thought they ruined Gotham's stellar reputation. Back when it still had one? It can again, Bruce. Though people like this Catwoman aren't helping. Is she new to town? Never seen her before. Hopefully, she's just a tourist. No, I already checked the codex. Not much to find, apparently. A few burglaries, break-ins. Seems to lay pretty low. You could learn a thing or two from her. You can't step outside without it ending up in the news lately. As Bruce or Batman. I stay out of sight when I need to. Define need to. Well, whenever Harvey calls. That guy's exhausting. Well, after the press conference tomorrow, I'll mark your calendar as exhausted, then. The media isn't good for anyone's health. I don't mean to beat a dead argument, but... No one's gonna figure it out now. Trust me. Miss Vale noticed your injuries, so did Mr. Dent. If they put it together with the incident at the mayor's office, it would undo all the long nights and close calls we've endured to get here. You're in the spotlight more than ever. You have to be careful. I have a job to do, okay? A responsibility to this city. You know why I do this. For the car, I presume. Well, the car helps. Oh, yes. You drive that thing like a bat out of hell. <sighs> Old men worry, that's all. It's our gift and our curse. One more worry for the list. I thought I saw Oz. It's been, what, 20 years? Last time I saw him, we were in grade school. Indeed. You two were thick as thieves. Oswald, however, took that role more literally than you. Dishonorable discharge, illegal boxing matches, arms dealing, prison stints? That's a criminal grand slam, if I'm using the expression correctly. Unfortunately, you are. Oswald claimed he only wanted to catch up, but his behavior following his family's collapse is troubling. Why he's returning now, I haven't the faintest idea. I think he just wants to reconnect. Criminal record or not, he's still an old friend. A lot can change over the years. If I remember correctly, Oswald was fond of the old firecrackers in the toilet trick. I worry what he's graduated to. Even though you and young Master Cobblepot used to be close, I'd advise you to be cautious. But I know you can't abandon a good mystery until it's solved. I'll be careful, Alfred. When you see what's become of his park, I think you will. Where are you, Oz?
Thank you, sir. Statue, but no eyes. Hey. Beat it. isn't what it used to be. Watch wallet cash. But this goes through you. Hey, you heard him, man. The hell are you waiting for? Go ahead. Try and take it. The hell do you say? End him. Gentlemen. Oz. Keep walking, all right? This don't concern you, twerp! Do you see? That's where you're mistaken. My old mate and I have some catching up to do. And you're uh, in the moment! Come here! Uh, Think that'll do! Uh, Stay down! Be a nice place. No lives like you don't belong. This is my park. Mine. You hear that? <laughs> oh, hey, Bruce. You've got a little, uh. Yeah, good as new. That was the right little scrap, eh? Nothing kickstarts the system like a dash of adrenaline, eh? Well, thanks for the backup. I yanked you away from your bloody ivory tower, Bruce. Least I can do is make sure you don't get shanked. Oh, that's very thoughtful of you. Yeah, it's been what? Two decades. And you know what? I haven't been mugged once that entire time. <laughs> uh, that wasn't why I brought you here, mate. Right now... I am trying to recognize the little Bruce I used to run around this place with. Back when it wasn't, you know, like this. This park used to mean something. A place that was safe for kids, for families. People came from all over to visit. Oh, Mom and Dad, they put so much work in here. Glad they never saw it like this. Well, those were better days. That they were, yeah. Thought we'd grow up to be kings, I did. Both of us. <sighs> this city chews right through people. <sighs> Mum committed to Arkham. Dad ended it yourself, he did. My family's fortune. 
There's nothing left, Bruce. I know. Alfred told me. <sighs> it's funny, huh? Same place that ground my family to dust. Gave you the good life. Used to run in the same circles we did. Hobnobbing parties, round the world vacations, unlimited potential. I'm... I'm sorry, Oz. No one should have to go through that. Thanks, Bruce. But we are not the only ones suffering. Good to know you haven't changed, Bruce. You still care about something more than just yourself. Although, I was surprised to see Carmine Falcone at your party last night. Made himself right at home, that oily... <sighs> no, 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 no. I only agreed to meet him because of Harvey. Beware of any man who smiles that much, Bruce. They usually hide the forked tongue. Falcone made a stack of cash and corpses a mile high, ruining families like mine. All he needs is a little push. And... It'd be a treat to watch him at pavement. Sorry, mate. This reunion got a lot more grim than I planned. Things are gonna be on the upswing soon, though. A revolution is knocking on Gotham's door. And I'm here to let it in. Which brings me to you, Bruce. You see, you throw a rock in any direction, you break a window that Wayne Enterprises owns. As the rich and powerful go, oh, you top Gotham's list. But when my revolution starts, we're gonna smash windows and cross off names all the way down. Like I said, it's not gonna be pretty. It's gonna be beautiful. And I can't wait to get started. I'm not your enemy, Oz. That remains to be seen, don't it? I've got great affection for you, Bruce. I really do. Which is why I'm warning you. When this whole thing starts, make sure you're on the right side. Good seeing you, Bruce, but I got some rocks to collect. Cheers. Wayne, over here, right here. This way. Bruce, Bruce. Good morning, everyone. Morning, Mr. Dent. Hey, Bruce, you mind if we swap cars? I mean, mine isn't fast and the paint's rusting off, but boy, does she have charm. <laughs> We didn't bring you all out here to discuss cars, honestly. <sighs> now, we're here about Arkham Asylum. Ever since it opened its doors, Arkham has been a breeding ground for the criminally insane. Its methods for rehabilitation, crude. Its security, lacking. And worse still, those who do get out, or God forbid escape, are even more dangerous than before they went in. Arkham Asylum is a cancer on Gotham. But today, with a sizable contribution from this man here, we break ground on a state-of-the-art mental health care facility. One that will improve the well-being of Gotham and its citizens for years to come. Now, Mr. Wayne has a few words he'd like to say. Bruce? I'm here today because I want to heal Gotham to stop the culture of crime that's running our streets. 
<sighs> you know, when I was uh, nine years old, my parents took me to see a movie about a hero in a mask. It was a hero who stood up to oppression and defended the people from injustice, no matter the cost. That night, my parents paid the ultimate cost defending me from a man <clears throat> who needed the kind of help this new facility will provide. With this facility and our next mayor, we create a new face for Gotham. Today, on the anniversary of that fateful night, we dedicate this facility to Thomas and Martha Wayne and usher in a new era of healing for Gotham. I'm, uh... Sure, you all have plenty of questions about the new hospital, so let's open it up. You first, Miss Vale. Thank you. With the opening of this new hospital, what does this mean for Arkham Asylum? What happens to the old building? I say we leave the asylum standing as a reminder that we can do better. This time, we won't fail those who need us most. All right, who's up next? Oh, Mr. Wayne, uh, you there. Mr. Wayne, Julia Remark of the Tribune. My sources say you welcomed alleged mob boss Carmine Falcone into your home. You even spoke with him behind closed doors. Harvey is the one who invited him. Bruce? Personally, I would never welcome that man into my home. Anyone else have a question? Please keep your questions on topic, people. We're here about the hospital, remember? Uh, but Mr. Wayne, this morning the Globe received evidence of an offshore bank account managed by Carmine Falcone and your father, Thomas Wayne. What exactly are you implying? Transactions connected to organized crime going back years and continuing to this day. The paper trail ties your family directly to the mob. Care to comment? And did anyone else receive this evidence? The Globe, the Gazette, we all did. Mr. Wayne, oh, Mr. Mr. Wayne, is all your money dirty? Is the Wayne family legacy built on lies? Did you know about this, Bruce? How long has your family been dealing with Falcone? Could the allegations be true? What aren't you telling us? Does the mob sign Wayne Enterprises' paychecks? <laughs> I think you should check your source. An intern is finally putting their creative writing minor to good use. Mr. Wayne! Mr. Wayne! How long has your family been dealing with Falcone? Could the allegations be true? Did you know about this, Bruce? What aren't you telling us? I'm sorry about this, Bruce. I don't know where the hell it's coming from. Damage controls my territory. We'll talk later. Everyone, everyone, please, settle down. I'll be fielding your questions from here on out. Please, let's try to keep this civilized. Bruce, I've been trying to reach you. The police are inside the manor. Alright, now things are getting up there now. Let's see what happens. Hey, hey, careful! Put it back. I'm afraid we can't, Mr. Wayne. Says who? This warrant. It's not personal. I had the boys turn the lights off, keep a low profile. I'm sorry, are you arresting me? Not unless I'm forced to. We're only collecting evidence today. I didn't do anything. That's what we're here to find out. Alfred, keep an eye on them. Make sure they only take what they have to. Of course, sir. I meant what I said about not personal. We only want files related to Wayne Enterprises. The warrant covers your place, pardon me, places of residence, and any companies you own. And if I refuse? Well, then we might have to make a scene. That's the last thing I want. But orders are orders, and this one comes from the top. It's a valid warrant. I gotta serve it. Mayor Hill signed off on this himself. As long as he's mayor, he calls the shots. 
Well, Hill has a history of making his opposition disappear. Rumors and allegations, Mr. Wayne, that's all. But if they become fact, I'll handcuff him myself, same as any other crook. I don't know how your neck ended up on Mayor Hill's shopping block, but here we are. Hill knows if I go down, Harvey's campaign goes down too. That'd be a real shame. Mr. Dent's the only DA I ever trusted to make a conviction stick. As mayor, I think he can finally turn things around for us. For all our sakes, I pray you've got nothing to hide. 